Good morning. Today we're here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go and check out some of the sales for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. So today is April 28th, 2023, just for point of reference. Do have their watermelon, $7.99. Someone told me that the watermelons were on sale on the digital coupon last week. I guess they weren't on sale at our Kroger. At least I didn't see any. So we did do a video at our local neighborhood Kroger the other day. Um, they had the 18-ounce blueberries. It is on a digital coupon for $2.97, actually, not $2.99. And I went ahead and grabbed an ad here just to double-check. $2.97 for the 18-ounce. They don't have any of the 18-ounce here, only the pints. So I guess the pints are $2.99. If you're going to do that, you might as well get the 18-ounce uh, package if you can. Strawberries have come down some in price, uh, $3.49 a pound and $6.98 for two pounds. Um, unless you can find a two pound package that is really good, I recommend just getting two of the uh, one pound packages. You're paying the same price. These have come down a little bit. Uh, the one pounds have come down 50 cents and the two pounds have come down a dollar. Still a little expensive for them being in season, for my opinion. They do have some corn in the husk here, corn on the cob, four for two dollars, making these 50 cents a piece. That's what I'm talking about. You guys know I love my corn on the cob. Well, I was wondering when we would see organic, some organic produce go up in price. Sure enough, it has happened. These were $4.49 for the Simple Truth Organic Apples for the two pounds. Now they are $5.29. Some of them more, Granny Smith's. Uh, $5.49, but this is three, oh no, this is conventional apples right here. $5.49 though, ugh, I tell you. We have some big, giant hothouse tomatoes here, $1.99 a pound. Regular price on these now is a crazy $2.89 a pound. I do have to say, these don't look too bad. Kroger must have picked from the big batch at the farm these onions are ridiculously huge also uh they are a dollar 29 a pound that is regular price uh we do see low price on here though so i don't know it might be going up we saw you know, a few weeks ago where onion prices were getting ridiculous they kind of leveled off here for a while but they're still the same prices I haven't seen them come down at all great deal on the tricolor peppers Get all three of them there. $1.99 on the digital coupon. That is a great deal. You can use this coupon up to five times. So they raised the price of celery and put locked in low price. Okay, so last week it was $1.79 for a bunch and now it's $1.89. But I guess locked in low price, well, I don't know. We have been seeing celery go up in price lately. But this is about the same price as it is everywhere. Romaine lettuce has reached ridiculous levels again. Uh, three things of romaine hearts at Kroger, $4.49. And to get even more ridiculous, let's see, this is a six count, right? You think you get a little bit of a discount. Well, not much. Still over a dollar a piece, $6.99 for a six pack. One awesome sale they have this week at Kroger. No digital coupon. I thought it was on a digital coupon. Five pound bag, $1.99. That is half price. That is half price. That's a good deal. Uh, makes it $3.98 for 10 pounds of potatoes. Great deal. I do have to say I like dragon fruit, but not for $4.99 a piece. So one thing, we did do a video at the start of the week at our neighborhood Kroger, and I will leave that video in the description box below. I'll leave the link down there so you can check that out. But I will say, they didn't have a lot of their sales out, hardly any, very low employees at that store. They are having a buy three or more, save $2 each deal at Kroger. So we're gonna try, there's not as many items on that sale, but I'm hoping we can find some more here at this Kroger Marketplace today. Uh, there are a couple things we'll go over, but if you happen to miss that video, I'll leave it in the description box below so you can check it out after this one. Uh, but we're going to kind of recap a lot of the things we did on Wednesday because 
a lot of the sales were expired. The tags weren't taken down. So over the last couple weeks, we've been getting a couple comments for me to check out some of the Food Saver products. I try to check out these as I go along. Um, every now and then, Kroger will have a sale. A lot of people have been saying to check online, though, because a lot of the deals are better online. Maybe check through Amazon. Uh, they did have a sale on this stuff last week, which was a, was a good deal. But people were pointing out that they were getting even better deals online. Maybe even check with Food Saver uh, Food Savers website. I know the one that people always comment on are these flavor seal, uh, different vacuum seal rolls here. $49.99 here is, I mean, that's pretty much what they are everywhere in stores, but you might be able to get this online a little cheaper. Uh, sometimes Kroger does have sales on these, which, you know, they're usually pretty decent sales, but just wanted to point this out. Kroger Marketplace does sell them. So I thought here in the middle bins, this is usually where they have like their better deals, like their buy three or more save $2 each deal. Um, a lot of those are bulk items. That could be why they're not putting those in the middle aisles here. They do have a bunch of digital coupons here though. They have the Belveda uh, back on sale for $349, regular price $479, which is just crazy. Um, they do, I see a digital coupon on the Annie's Macaroni and Cheese, though, $1.29. That's a good deal. I know people on the channel who like that. They got the Kroger Microwave Popcorn. Never actually tried this popcorn for $2.29. Not saving much. Regular price, $2.79. Okay, so one thing a buddy of mine just pointed out to me here. Uh, your weekly ad is going digital. Beginning May 28th, we'll no longer deliver printed weekly ads to homes, but you can still pick up a paper copy of the ad in store. Well, that's good. Uh, plus, if you create a digital account, uh, you can view the ad online, save big with exclusive digital coupons and more. You can scan that for more information if you like. But yeah, we've been hearing that they were going to do away with ads. I thought that meant in store also. Luckily, that's not the case. That'll be next though, guys. Also, I want to point out here, there are just not many items on the buy three uh, or more save $2 each deal. The Ice Mountain is probably the best deal that I've seen, uh, unless you like Edie's ice cream there. Seattle's best. That's one thing. We're going to check out the coffee here because all of the coffee sales at the last Kroger we went to at the start of the sales week were wrong. So we're going to check that out right now. Yeah, so I thought it was kind of funny when we were at the other Kroger the other day. I actually talk about it in the end of the video. Um, that all of the sales stickers that they had on the coffee were expired from the week before. I had talked to another friend at that Kroger that I know, um, and they said that they were very short on employees. So that was uh, the reason why they weren't able to get out a lot of this stuff. They do have different mixes now of whole bean, though. Whole bean Starbucks. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. You got to look in the top right hand corner now, which makes it easy to kind of figure out. But no sales on Starbucks this week. And I noticed that all of their bigger bags have gone up a dollar. These were $19.99, now $20.99. Okay, so I found a couple of the buy three or more save $2 each deals. Uh, some of them being on the Kroger private selection, uh, more of their premium brand of coffee here and they do have the Pete's Pods part of the buy three or more save two dollar each deal and on this deal you don't have to buy three things of these although I would recommend it because $7.99 down from $12.49 but once you get to that third item or more it's all mix or match no sales on Folgers this week they do have a digital coupon on the Nestle Coffee Mate uh, for $5.99 regular price $7.49 which is just nuts but you can get um, almost double this at Sam's Club. It was $6.98 for the one at Sam's Club, but it did just recently go up a dollar to $7.98. Still a better deal than regular price here. But $5.99 on a digital coupon you use up to five times. And I understand not everybody has a membership to Sam's Club, so that would be a good deal. And I am surprised to see, I'm sure that this Kroger coffee was stuff that was bought up last week when it was on sale for $6.99. Or no, it was $5.99. Uh, but $8.99 here is way too much for Kroger coffee if you ask me. Uh, we have seen Cafe Bastello uh, consistently rise in price. It is now $5.49 now for the 10 ounce brick here at Kroger. 
another one part of the buy three or more save two dollars each deal is the mccafe coffee again this is all mix and match you don't have to buy all the same stuff but this is where the best deals are gonna lie uh chuck full of nuts uh coffee right here is now 10.99 regular price which is nuts but 6.99 on sale on the buy three or more no sales on duncan ground but um i think they have a sale on the pods we'll have to see here there's the seattle's best here part of the buy three or more that makes this 4.99 i tried this the other day um i'm not a fan but i know some people on the channel drink it uh so a little bit of a deal on that and the pete's coffee the ground is included in the buy three or more same as the pot so good deal i know we have a lot of pete's coffee drinkers on the channel so time to stock up on this one green mountain coffee is uh someone uh told me that i should try green mountain coffee i have i have it's okay it's not my favorite but uh, especially since the prices have gotten kind of ridiculous on it 6.99 was the regular price on these uh, less than a year ago these have really skyrocketed in price um, but I do like the original donut shop, which is made by Green Mountain Coffee. This one right here is pretty good, and this is part of the buy three or more also. I was wrong about the Dunkin'. I mean, it is on sale, but it's not part of the buy three or more save $2 each deal. Uh, $8.99 was the regular price on these pods less than a month ago, but they have since gone up to $9.99 regular price. $8.99 on sale. So the regular price of what it was the pods of the uh, mcdonald's mccafe uh buy three or more save two dollar each deal 6.99 for these and the bigger ones of the kroger coffee pods are on this deal as well if you're going to try one of these i do recommend the donut shop i love the donut shop blend uh well not love but i mean it is cheap it's a lot cheaper and you can get it cheaper on this deal again all mix and match don't have to buy three things of these you know, you can, and, and that's good. I'm glad you don't have to buy in multiples. Okay, so I wanted to look at the jam and jellies here because we've gotten a few comments over the last couple few weeks uh, that they've been very low or out in some stores. And, you know, we saw an issue with this with the grape jelly. Uh, it's been a couple months, but yeah, we couldn't find it anywhere. We'd find one here and there. But now there seems to be plenty of grape jelly, but we are finding inconvenience stickers here at Kroger Marketplace and they only put these up if they know they're not getting them in or if they're just not coming in um, I mean it does look like they have a pretty good amount here but yeah we are seeing some inconvenience stickers so this is something we'll have to keep an eye out on in the future they still have their Kroger peanut butter on a digital coupon the 16 ounce things of peanut butter for $1.49 um, and again, I, I brought this up in the last video, but it's a good deal. $1.49, you can use this up to five times. I just don't understand these tea prices and how they keep going up by so much. $4.49 for these Zazo teas. It's been that for a little while. Two for seven, though. And again, this is one of those that is good until May 9th. So you got a little while. Um, but if you're one of the hundred people that have commented over Zazo tea on the channel here over the last year or so, it's on sale here at Kroger. And the biggest one that we get comments on uh, is the Bigelow tea. And guys, I'll tell you what, this stuff has gotten ridiculously overpriced. L uh, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, this was $3.19. This has gone up a dollar, one dollar. And that's after being $2.99 for a long time. To be fair, it was $2.99 like, a, you know, almost two years ago, $2.79, but it went up to $2.99. Then we saw the jump to $3.19. In the last couple of weeks, four nineteen. We get, I stress this because we get a lot of people on the channel uh, who like Bigelow tea. So when you find a sale on it, whatever store you go to, find a good deal on it. I would stock up on some. We've kind of been seeing Ice Mountain spring water jump everywhere in price, um, but buy three or more. Part of the buy three or more save two dollar each deal brings these down to $3.99 of what the regular price was a little over a year ago, but $5.99 regular price now. It's kind of crazy, but good time to stock up if you like Ice Mountain. Okay, so the other day someone asked me if I knew anywhere to get a deal on these sparkling ice drinks here. Asked if I ever tried the ones at Aldi. Um, yes, I have, and they're pretty good. I like them. Um, some of these I like, but just wanted to point out they're a dollar a piece. 
uh, no extra purchase required. You do not have to buy 10 of them. You use your Kroger Plus card, dollar each with cards. So, and this is going on until May 23rd, 2023. So we got like almost a month to stock up on these. If you like them, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan, but I get one every now and then. Somebody asked if I would check out some of the canned tomato prices. Um, we have the Moyer Glen here, organic on a digital coupon, half price. Now this is uh, really expensive here. Good time to try it if you've never had it. I really like it, but yeah, it is a little pricey. $1.99 on the digital coupon there, you can use up to five times. Uh, and then we have some of the Contadina uh, puree crushed diced tomatoes here. And these are a little pricey too. Um, and we are seeing some inconvenience stickers. We got a comment about a month ago that they were seeing a, a little bit of a shortage on canned tomatoes again. We saw this a few months ago, but they have since come back in. Let's keep an eye on that. They do have a little bit of a sale on hunts diced. Boy, I'll tell you what though, these canned prices, like three for four dollars, you don't have to buy three. Just like this, you don't have to buy four. Normally a dollar thirty-four a can now though. I mean, I know it's been that for a while, but I just still amazes me. Um, $1.25, a little bit of a sale. You can get the Kroger ones down here for a dollar. It's funny, they put low price on here. These used to be 79 cents. And we saw where they went up to 99 cents. Um, but now they're putting dollar and low price sticker. And every time we talk about this on the channel, I wouldn't be surprised to see these go up a little bit. I don't think these would go up much, though. Like maybe a dollar... I, I don't see these going up over a dollar. I just, I don't think people will buy them. I feel like I go over ramen noodles in pretty much every video I do. <laughs> we get a lot of comments on it, so I like to point them out when I see them. Same price as here, $2 for the six packs, $3.69 for the 12 packs. So, you know, it's, it's good to see they have some though. I know Kroger Marketplace is usually pretty low on this stuff. I guess people stock up on it. Someone had asked about a week ago if I knew where the best price is to find Progresso Soup. Well, I will say this is uh, for a major grocery store. This is the highest regular price I've seen. It's a little cheaper at Walmart. Uh, $2.26, I think. And then right around, I think it's $2.29 at Target. Now, they may have gone up since the last time I checked. But a much cheaper regular price is much cheaper regular price at Target or Walmart than here at Kroger, and that's unfortunate. Sometimes they'll have sales, but even the Campbell's Chunky went up to $2.79, way too much. Well, if you're looking for canned mushrooms, uh, you might wanna look somewhere else, because Kroger continue, for whatever reason, Kroger just cannot get them in. Uh, we see them at Meyer, we see them at Walmart, but we've noticed the prices have really gone up on them. They do have some of the jarred mushrooms here. Close out on this for $2.51. Um, these are $209, regular price $299 for that small amount of mushrooms. They do have the canned Pennsylvania Dutchman here. I don't know, like are they getting rid of Pennsylvania Dutchman? I mean, we got inconvenience stickers everywhere, so there must be some struggle with getting in all canned or jarred mushrooms. Great deal, a buddy of mine just pointed out to me here. Uh, this is amazing. The chicken wings, Heritage Farm wings, these are really good chicken wings. Uh, the frozen ones, the frozen ones. Um, $5.99 though on a digital coupon, two and a half pounds. Regular price on these now is $13.99. $13.99. So to get them for $5.99, you can use this up to five times too. So if you got a deep freezer or something, time to stock up on them. They do have a bit of a sale on their cheese this week. Uh, digital coupon, again, you can use this up to five times. Select varieties, uh, bars or shreds, 16 ounce. So it's, it's the bigger one. Um, or slices 12 ounce three dollars and 49 cents uh, you can mix and match between this but you can only buy up to five things of cheese you can't get five things of shredded five bars and five slice only five but you can mix and match in between that no sales on butter this week at least on the ones we always get comments on Kroger butter still 449 we've seen a lot of stores drop their price now one thing on the two packs inconvenience stickers Seeing more inconvenience stickers here at Kroger today than I've seen in a long time. We saw a lot at the other Kroger, too. We we'll have to keep an eye on some of these shortages. Somebody asked if I would check out some of the egg prices here at Kroger. They are still the same at ours, but I have heard that they just came down to some of our prices across the country here. So I don't know if yours might have been a little higher. I did notice that the simple truth here 
is down from 499 to 399 for a 12 count. Uh, but our 12 count uh, regular Kroger large eggs is still $2.29, I believe. And yes, they are $2.29. Somebody left a comment saying theirs just went back down to $2.29. Ours never went up besides when it got crazy there for a while, but they've been $2.29 here for a while. Digital coupon on the Kroger toilet paper. It's only 12 double rolls equals 24 regular rolls or whatever, but I wanted to point out uh, the regular price on this now for this small, this used to be $4.99 regular price a little over a year ago, $7.99. $7.99 regular price for this small thing of toilet paper now. That is crazy. If you want to get a little crazier, they have this four pack of brawny paper towels on a digital coupon for $4.99. But look at that sale price or regular price $10.99. $10.99 for four rolls of paper towels. I mean, yeah, $4.99 I still feel is a little much. Um, it is brawny though, but I don't, I don't know, guys. Some of these prices just continue to amaze me and when i say amaze i actually mean terrify okay so all jokes aside well not really i mean these prices are kind of terrifying <laughs> i mean they, they they really are every every time i come to the store i can i find several items that have gone up in price some very significantly however they do have hefty garbage bags on sale this week uh the digital coupon for 7.99 down from 9.49 they do have their Kroger toilet paper on the buy three or more, save a dollar each deal, save two dollar each deal. Uh, this is the one we used to get. Guys, you know this used to be $9.99. It's been about a year and a half. But this went from $9.99 and just kept going up like crazy ever since. $12.99 I feel is still too high. But, <laughs> you know, in today's prices, it's an okay deal, I guess. $12.99 on the buy three or more, something you can throw into the mix. Cottonelle is also part of that deal as well. The 12 mega rolls here, $11.99 on the buy three or more safe $2 each deal down from $13.99. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's an okay deal. I was walking by and saw on this end cap here, they have the Perso laundry detergent on sale. I know a couple of our longtime viewers on the channel that would want to see this deal. It's on the buy three or more save two dollar each deal making it 12.99 down from 16.99 this is very expensive laundry detergent but i know some people swear by it also they have the cascade dishwasher uh tablet thingies uh cascade action pack 17.99 regular price on these is 20.99 so and that is part of the buy three or more save two dollar each deal well, I figured while we were over here, we might as well check out some of the other laundry options here. Got some uh, downy fabric softener here, down to $4.99 on the digital coupon, down from $8.49. It's not a bad deal. Use up to five times. I've always considered Gain laundry detergent like a, a cheaper laundry detergent, right? Remember when not so long ago it used to be cheap? Uh, $11.99 now, regular price for this small thing of 61 loads. Oh, way too much, but they do have it on the buy three or more, save $2 each deal for $7.99, making it an okay deal. They have some of the Tide Hygienic Clean pods and the detergent here on digital coupons for $16.99. This one here is 100 or 94 loads, 94 loads for $16.99. And then there is 57 uh, pods of the OxyClean, Ultra OxyClean Tide Pod, $16.99 on digital coupon. Well, they do have some of the Tide part of the digital coupon as well, bringing it down to $16.99. 100 loads there for $16.99. That's not bad. Um, did this shrink though? It sure did. This was 107 loads. 107 loads, now it's 100. I believe it was a let me know down in the comments I believe this was 154 ounces before now it's 146 so this has shrunk in size the price shrunk a little bit though because uh, these were 21.49 for a while we saw it drop down to 20.99 and now I guess 19.99 so they shaved some out of it lowered the price a little but 16.99 makes it an okay deal so if you like Edie's ice cream you may want to get to Kroger. They have these things of it here on the buy three or more save $2 each deal for 
regular price on these is a crazy $6.99. But to get that for $2.99, that's a good deal. You can definitely tell there are some people buying them up here. So I will get to Kroger quickly. Uh, no limits on these, so you can get as many as you want. Okay, so just trying to kind of prove my point here of how quickly Kroger removes and puts these stickers back up here. I, I had a feeling, we got a couple comments over the last couple weeks of some baby formula shortages. One of them from one of our longtime viewers of the Gentle Ease. They do have it here at Kroger. However, it is $20.99. More expensive than anywhere, really. But we have noticed that they have been adding more inconvenience stickers. We started to see them take these down as they were getting some stuff in. Now, baby formula is just hard to get in these days, but seeing the sorry for the inconvenience stickers coming up after just a week of seeing them not here tells me that we're going to have another issue with this. So, again, when you find an okay deal, especially on baby formula, you want to make sure you have that. Um, let's see, in the comforts here, I don't know much about this brand, but we always get comments on the Similac Sensitive, which I'm sure these are very comparable. Still ask a pediatrician before you ever switch anything, but... I will say the big cans of Similac Sensitive here are $46.99 here. Pretty much $45 everywhere else. Well, that was our trip to the Kroger Marketplace. Uh, lots of digital coupons. Also, you may want to note that Kroger has something going on right now where if you use digital coupons on their brands, that includes the Kroger brand, Private Selection, and Simple Truth uh, products, on digital coupons, then you get four times fuel points for that. And that's not just on Fridays. I believe that's every day. Um, but yeah, that can, you know, that can save you a little bit of gas. Gas prices have been going up too. Continue to see price increases at Kroger, which is sad. But, you know, that's why we say always get the sales when we find them. That's why we do this every day so that we can try and help save you guys a little bit of money. We really hope it helps. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is up.